In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to back up all your photos and videos from your Samsung phone to an external hard drive, which is much more secure than cloud and also great for people that don't have a micro SD expansion on their phone. Let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to back up all your photos and your videos from your Samsung Galaxy smartphone to an external hard drive just like this one. This is gonna make sure you never lose your photos or your videos that for some people are very important because they're a bunch of memories. And of course, when you back up all your data to a hard drive that is yours, nobody else has access to it as opposed to if you uploaded everything to the cloud. Some people don't like that, some people don't have micro SD expansion in their phone. So this is actually the best way to make a backup. Backup from your phone to the hard drive and later you can restore everything back to your phone or even view everything in the hard drive on your PC or your Mac. So let's dive in and get started right away. So I do have a whole bunch of photos and videos uh, in my gallery folder. And naturally I wanna back it all up. Now I'm gonna be using this hard drive right here which is one of the best hard drives to get this done. First and foremost, it is from Samsung, so it's gonna work perfectly with a Samsung Galaxy smartphone, so the links to this guy are going to be down below. This one happens to be one terabyte, it's around $100, like I said, the links are down below. It's gonna be a long-term investment. So here's how you back it up. So when you buy this hard drive, it comes in a case like this one, okay? When you buy it, it also comes with all the cables that you're gonna need. So we have a USB C to C cable, and of course the hard drive has a USB C plug right here. So all you're gonna do is you are gonna connect one end of the cable right here, okay? And the other end is gonna go into your phone's USB type C port, which I'm doing right now. So once it's connected, you're gonna see a little light that blinks up here, that's good. That means everything is working properly. There's gonna be a light right over here. It's a blue light that's just gonna blink. So here's all you want to do. You wanna to go to your settings, okay? You're gonna scroll down, you're gonna go into accounts and backup, right here, accounts and backup. You're gonna skip all the things on the top, you're gonna to go right here, external storage transfer. So it says, backup your data to a USB storage device or restore a backup. So you can backup and restore if you want. So if you back everything up to this hard drive and later, you buy a brand new phone, you can use this just to restore everything from your old phone to the new phone. So that's great. So we're gonna tap on this guy right here, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna say, this is gonna pop up once you have this connected. Back up to USB storage. You're gonna click on it, and it's gonna give you all the options. Okay, you can back up everything. In this video, we're gonna be talking about backing up your images and your videos. In another video, I'm gonna show you all the other options as well. So let's uh, uncheck everything, scroll down, and these are the images and videos in your gallery, okay? Or any videos and images you have downloaded, or photos you took with the camera, whatever, or stuff that people have shared with you. It's all gonna be here, and you can also click on this arrow, and it's gonna show you all the individual options. You can select and unselect photos if you so desire. So that's all up to you. You can do the same with the videos. If you tap on this button, you can select and unselect any video file that you want. Once you're done, here's all you do. You tap on backup, click, okay? Now this says data backed up and encrypted using your Samsung account. So that's great, okay? Tap it. And one of the reasons I like this hard drive, the T7, and the links for this is down below, is because it is super fast. So all that stuff is being done so quickly. Okay, so it says two minutes left and it's almost over. And there we go. So it says backup results, 560 images and 33 videos have been backed up. That's the number of total items. And then we have 2.66 gigabytes of data that was backed up. So once you're done, you're gonna tap on next, okay? So everything is all set as you can see. Very nice interface. Now, here's one scenario. Let's say you purchased a brand new phone and you have everything backed up to this hard drive. All you do is go back into accounts and backup. You tap on this one right here, the option at the bottom, 
And again, all you do is you select one of your backups to start the restoration process. So if I click on one of these guys, it's going to allow me to select everything I have backed up. Everything is neatly organized in the hard drive thanks to the Samsung system. So when you tap on restore, it restores everything. Now one more thing that's very important is every time you create a brand new backup, it's going to actually create a backup file that's going to take extra space on the hard drive. So what you want to do is once you do a brand new backup, and I recommend you do it every week to have all the latest information backed up, go over here, tap on see all and do delete the old backups because they're just taking extra space. Always leave on the top, the one on the top alone, because that's going to be the latest and then just tap on delete, which is going to delete all the other backups from the hard drive, making sure you don't duplicate files and also you have plenty of space left over. So that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is you can take this hard drive now. Okay. I can unplug this hard drive and I can take it to go. Now I've got all my uh, phone data on this hard drive and I can plug this to a Mac or a PC using a USB cable uh, with the USB type C and simply access all my photos and videos on any computer that I please. So just as an example, my hard drive is now connected to my computer via the USB cable right over here. Okay. And I can access my hard drive and all the files in it right on my desktop PC here. All right. Look at that. So I can go in here, photos, and they're going to show up all in here, all my photos, all my folders. So that's fantastic. So this is just to go. It's great. It's one terabytes. This one happens to be one terabyte. By the way, you saw me drop this guy. I do want to let you know this particular model is in fact shock resistant. So if you drop it like this, nothing happens to the data. Don't drop it off of an airplane, but simple drops like this, it's going to be perfectly fine. Okay. So like I said, the links to this guy are going to be down below. It's going to be a great investment long term, and you can also use it for other purposes. You can still use this as a portable hard drive. No problem. I got the one terabyte option because that's my sweet spot, but they do have a 512 or a two terabyte. Now, if your phone only has a 256 gigabyte capacity, then you just want to get the 512. If you have 512 capacity on your phone, you might want to get one terabytes just in case. All right. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.